two, three. What's going on, guys? I'm here with second place finisher James Hopkins. You guys know him as James Hopkins on the Nardo CCG forums. Um, he ran a uh, very, not really interesting deck, but a very powerful deck, a very powerful version of the, de of the deck. Um, and there's a lot of cool cards and combos in here that I'll show you uh, throughout the ch um, deck profile. Uh, what did you decide to run today? I chose to run Puppets. Nice. Uh, was there a reason uh, you liked the deck or uh, your favorite? From just playtesting and things, mm -hmm. uh, this was one of the better decks that we playtested, so I okay. chose to run this. Gotcha. I was going to run this or Pain, so. Okay, very nice. Um, we'll go straight to the deck profile. Feel free to talk about any cards. Uh, we'll go with Zero Drops. We'll start out with turn zero. We're running the non-unique Salamander. Yep. Awesome. Um, Usual. Just three copies because he's just there. There's yeah. nothing very exciting. He's like a puppet, giant, yeah. giant panda puppet thing. Yeah. Uh, we're running three Yoki. He's not necessarily good, but he's a turn zero manipulation, so he gets all your right. early Targets. game stuff going. <laughs> okay. Running three Conqueror. This is probably the most important card in the deck. Yeah. Uh, if you don't get this by turn three, you're probably going to lose the game, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Um, very important card. Yeah. Uh, run two Sasori Childhood, uh, pretty garbage card, but <laughs> yeah. it, it's here because it's it's an early game manipulation. It, it was okay one match, was <laughs> okay, nothing exciting. Uh, on to one drops, we're running two of the non-unique Black Ant and one of the Jutsu Black Ant. Okay. Nice. Uh, the reason we run it this way is because you put this one in play. Always like you get you want this. Yeah. To search out this, you put right. this in play. And then on turn three, it gets removed anyway, but yeah. on those turns leading up to turn three, it's a jutsu that protects your black end. Okay, yeah. Very cool. Um, then the other two are the non-unique, because you need sure. the non-unique. Yeah, pop them in. Uh, crow, we're running the non-unique crow. Okay. So it's, it's all the non-unique crow black ant salamander, yeah, pretty but pretty much, uh, we run the one yeah. non. Yeah. Uh, going on to three drops, no two drops in the deck. We run the one toby. There you go. Yep. We ran one sand on boo. He's okay. He's okay sometimes. Yeah, he wasn't he's bad ever. Good. Two Abizo, uh, the second most important ninja in the deck. Yes. Uh, very good. Just yeah. solid. Him, yeah. Ooh. He makes a lot of combos in the deck possible. Right. Uh, four drops. We ran two Hiroko. Just a really powerful card overall. Okay. Just not much to say otherwise. Just pretty strong. Yeah. Five drops, we ran Sasori and Monzaimon. Okay, one of each. Gotcha. Sasori's okay. He really, I don't think I summoned him once today. Okay. He'd be a bit nice backup reinforcement. He's there person. if, like, you're black in and all your other combos just didn't go off and you just need something to fall back on. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Monzaimon's in there because it's another unique puppet. It's yes. got ten support. He right. It's just, just big as fuck. Yeah. Forces people to play differently. You know? Yeah. And it combos with a uh, Yoki. Yeah, right, right. A very small combo, but it's there. It's One Kazekage. Um, he's, just, he's just like the powerhouse of the deck. Strong, yeah, yep. Strong uh, I would run one Scorpion. I just chose not to. Okay, yeah. He's just not here. That's really all there is to it. <laughs> right. Uh, we ran three Takamura. This is... How helpful was this card? Uh, Unimaginable. Yeah, yeah. It's every game. You pretty much like every game. It was there. Every game very game. helpful. Yeah. If you're going <laughs> second, it's like a free mulligan. Right. It gives yeah. you the chakra instead of like putting a card back. It's just yeah. Very good card. Very good card overall. Uh, combos with Abizo actually. Yeah. Hard to negate too. So I mean, it's, it's why not? Yeah. Uh, we ran two Hidden Village of the Wind. Yep. Um. On the early turns. It can make your team that's like okay, like a pretty big team. Yeah. It makes it really hard for your opponent to swing at you. Yeah. Towards the mid game, it just starts building hand advantage, and then towards late game, it's just like a absolute powerhouse card. Yeah. It's a great uh, card. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, just really good. Uh, on to turn twos, we ran one clash. Sure. On our list, clash is like a, a very generic card. Searcher, right? Yeah, it's yeah. just a searcher. It's just okay. turn two void. Search your deck for whatever element you whatever paid element you paid hand cost with it. So it's. <laughs> Very free searcher. Sure. We ran three Sasori the Red Sand. Same reason as Clash, it's just yep. another searcher. Gotcha. We ran three loss. It's just like it's the best Standard draw, it's draw just, yeah. engine that we have in this meta that right, we have. Right, right. For a turn two special. Uh, turn three, we ran the two entrustment. Right. It builds hand advantage. It's it's late game, but most of the time you get there and it's pretty decent. Yeah. Makes sense. And then, like, the pseudo mission, Suchigumo. We have it at two on yeah. this list. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, amazing card, yeah. It, it's here. You run it at two. Uh, the only jutsus in the deck that actually kill things Hydro Pump and Reverse Tetragram. 
Were you able to get Tetragram off uh, any of these tournaments? Or? I did. I got it off in top uh, eight. Nice. Okay. Uh, I never got Hydro Pump off, though. I, w I always side out Hydro Pump because it just never, it just never happens. I mean, it, it's, it's so hard way to. better in yeah. this deck than most decks because of the Kazakage. Okay, yeah, putting so him in early and stuff. Yeah. Is, right. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this is, like... The main focal point of the deck. The deck wouldn't be the way it is if this card didn't Explain exist. That card, uh, kind so, of new for like some of the um, yeah. newer players. So there. it's requirements. Turn three manipulation yeah. plus puppet master or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Select all puppets that you revealed and put them in play in the user's team. Yeah. So that's why you play the non uniques because if you reveal three crow, you can just put all three crow in your team. Okay. Nice. Um, and the. Last Jutsu, standard negate. It just helps you resolve Inside. your Puppet Master. Awesome, nice. Um, and then... Reinforcements. The only card from the Reinforcement deck that actually mattered. Yeah. This is the only one I actually summoned the entire day. Conqueror Black Game, gotcha. Um, the other ones that are, like, kind of cool. Sasori sure. and Daydara. You can put this in play with Sasori. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Right. Same with uh, Chio and yeah. Sakura. Makes sense. And then same with this guy. Just in case, yeah. So he's just there. Uh, there's Sasori and Hirko. I, I don't think... It's ever put in play, <laughs> right. and the, the rest of the extra deck doesn't matter. Awesome, gotcha. Um, did you have a sideboard card for this event, or not as much? I had a very fake okay. <laughs> side right. deck. Were, were you afraid of certain cards, like uh, like Shino Silence, or like, maybe um, like a, you know, Play Force on their Comp Strengths? And... The, the main ones I was scared of were yeah. Comp Strength and Dehydration. Yeah. Right. Those were okay. the two big ones on my mind. Uh, okay. Eno and Shino are not that bad. Okay, yeah. Because if you... you Turn zero is card to kill, and then yeah. turn one you have black hand. Right. And then from there you can put this in play turn three, and, and you just kill them both. Yeah. You can kill Eno, you can kill Shino. Right. right. Just, they're gone. Yeah. You don't have to worry about them. But the uh, side deck, yes. I'm just going to show six cards. Yes. Yeah. Those are the main cards that you really uh, These are the only cards would that like to see. Yeah. Right. Um, I went into these a lot. Okay. I went into this one game and I never went into these. Who'd you call out for good. Zetsu uh, in your matchup? I didn't draw them, but oh, okay, I did right. side them in. Okay. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, all great cards. Yep. Um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, any uh, comments or shout-outs or anything like that? Um, I'll tell you a couple combos. Yeah, let's go. Uh, so, so, yeah, we got a powerful combo with... Super combo is Hiroko, Black Ant, and Kazakage. Yeah, awesome. You get these three out. So, with Black Ant, you... Discard a puppet from your field or yeah, chakra area. Fine. You give a poison coin to one of your opponents. Three drops are higher. Correct. Then you attack with Hiroko. You yes. call that ninja. That ninja, if it doesn't block this turn, which it can't because it has a poison coin, it gets returned to hand. Nice. Yeah. And then Kazekage says, once returned, when a card would be returned to hand, you can move it to the battle, battle area instead. Instead, yeah. So little that's a nice little out. combo. Nice little free battle ward. Um, ward wipe. That, that's a pretty late game combo. That doesn't happen too often. If you get it, it's pretty fun though. Yeah. And they usually close games with that too. So Yeah. yeah. Um, the combo of the deck that actually matters involves... Uh, yeah. Takamaru. Uh, and Witch. Yeah. And that. Nice. And then I'll grab these because they're the ones you want to get. Yep. So you, from turn zero, you have Conqueror. Yep. You ditch a bunch of puppets. You get all three of these puppets in the discard pile. And then on turn three, you have this, this in play, and you have this in your hand and this in your hand. Yep. So you Set put this in play. You have exactly four ninjas in play now to activate this effect. You add these three to your hand. You draw right. minimum four cards because you have this. this. Yep. Then you put this on top. Activate Takamura, swap those from the top, draw four new ones. Yes. You have exactly four in play yep. because you're on turn three. Mm -hmm. You activate this, you draw one, you draw the Puppet Master, you attack with a Bezo, or if you have Conqueror and Black Ant, you squad, you attack with that. And you activate this, yep. you have a guaranteed special summon of three right, exactly. really big puppets. Yeah, insane. And you've done it probably a couple times throughout the tournament. Yeah, I did it a couple times throughout the tournament. Good stuff. Yeah. And that's pretty much game over after that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very overwhelming. Hard to come yeah, back from yeah. There. yeah, right, exactly. And then you can still Hydro Pump and all that stuff. And you too, have Hydro up. Pump and Reverse Tetragram to just, like, super in the game. Sweet. Mon Zymon can block and just blow up anything for free. Awesome. Nice. And then one last question. I know we uh, we all play different Rogue lists and anything. Is there anything in Puppets that you feel like could get touched or anything like that? Or maybe um, on a watch think, list or something like that? I think Puppets are pretty fair overall yeah. right now. 
Right. Uh, the deck definitely has some super hard counters. Right. It doesn't... It, the cards that needed to be hit were hit. Like, yeah. the three drop of Bezo, Father heart, and Mother. Heart to Heart, uh, uh, Shima. I, I actually don't think the uh, the zero drop Conqueror that yeah. when he's discarded puts a play a puppet is that okay. busted. I'd Very still cool. play this one. Over, yeah, yeah. It, over that one. Yeah. So if, if there's a card like this in the game that I'd rather play over a card that's banned, sure. it's yeah. like, why, why have it exactly. banned? Exactly, right. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, so you pretty much think it's pretty balanced. Um, yep. Just know how to play the deck and, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's a pretty skill-based deck. Yes. It's very, just very you have to know matchups, you have to know how to play the game. Exactly. If you know how to play the game, you know how to do your combos, and you know matchups, you're going to do great with the deck. Well, you did awesome with this deck, and thank you again uh, for representing California. You're getting second yeah. place. Could have been first place, but I mean. And he's a little punk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again, and we'll catch you later. Peace cool. out.